If you want to learn how to create a high ticket office, then this is the video for you. Welcome back. I'm your girl, Pam Obessa. And if it is your first time joining me, then it is good to have you. In the snippet that you're going to see in a moment from our archives, you're going to watch me teach you how to create a high ticket offers step by step. Now, before we jump in, Something I want to share about high ticket offers and why it is an absolute game changer. But I also want to share at the end of that video, so you've got to watch it to the end, what I am doing differently with our high ticket programs right now that you must be doing as well if you want to be able to sell high ticket programs with ease. So creating high ticket programs has been the bread and butter of my business. In fact, we hit seven figures because of our high ticket programs. And this is one of the biggest things that I teach people to do. But there is one big mistake that I see a ton of people making when it comes to creating high ticket coaching programs. And it is the fact that they do not have anything else. They don't have a low ticket pro offer. They don't have a middle ticket offer. They have nothing else. They seem to think, and there are people who teach this, that all you need is the one offer, the one high ticket offer. This isn't the case. You need a little bit more than that. If you are trying to grow your business to six figures, or even to seven figures. You need a little bit more than that. But if you're starting off with your high ticket, I want to share with you a step-by-step -step process that we use to craft the high ticket offers. And at the end of it, I have something else to share with you to tell you what we are doing differently now. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. But if you're brand new to this channel, then do your girl a solid by hitting the subscribe button. On this channel, I teach you how to build a seven-figure business with out the overwhelm without burning out. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We publish three times a week. Let's dive in. So when it comes to your high ticket offer, I want you to remember this. This is the highest transformation that somebody could have with you. Here is the thing that I want you to know. There is no advantage to being the cheapest service provider in the market. No advantage whatsoever. So you don't want to create a high ticket offer, but yet you are the cheapest on the block because what you are doing is that you are sending the wrong message to your ideal clients and to your market. And the truth of the matter is that when something is too cheap, people think, well, it, therefore it's too good to be true. So when somebody you know, sees your program, they need to feel and know that it's worth what it is that you say it is. And even more in their mind, they need to place the price even higher, right? Than what is out there. So you are better off putting a super premium price on your high ticket offer than to try to go low. Don't do that. There's a huge advantage to being the most expensive person in your niche. There's a huge advantage. Guess what happens? It makes you become a premium. If you look at the world of cars, for example, you have the likes of Porsche, you have the, the, the likes of Maserati, you have the likes of Aston Martin. These are all premium, super premium cars. Now you might think that because they are super premium, you know, the Ferraris and the likes, that they have a lot less customers. No, they don't. There is a specific group of people who actually only want Want premium. That means that they won't be touching the cheaper cars. They won't even look at them because based on their price point alone, they have written them off. Here is the truth. When you look out on the streets, what type of cars do you see the most of? The cheaper cars, am I right? That is because there is more competition at the lower level that there is at the top. So that is one of the most, the biggest advantages for having a premium program is that there is actually a lot less competition. And it literally just boils down to being good at selling and of course at delivering results, that's very important, in order to be able to sell this with ease. Your high ticket program is all about providing your audience with results. It's not about creating a, uh, you know, like a, a what, what, you know, a band-aid offer or a, a, an offer that is just a rep or a result or that solves a tiny problem. No, it's got to solve a big problem for them. So it's got to solve a big problem and offer a big result in return. So I want to share with you seven steps for how to create your signature high ticket offer. And in the descriptions below, I have included a link where I share seven ways that you can actually fill your high ticket program with your ideal clients. So let's jump into those seven steps right now. So step number one, Remember earlier where I talked about the high ticket offer being about solving a big problem? Well, in step number one, you want to identify their big problem. It is all about knowing your ideal avatar, your ideal client, your target market, their persona. Who are they? 
right? What do they look like? Where are they hanging out? What problems do they have? What is it that's keeping them up at night? What is it that they are investing in? What is it that they are typing into Google or on YouTube or on Amazon or wherever? What are they looking for? What is their biggest problem? That is what I want you to think about for this. Now, step two in creating your signature offer is to map out the steps that they need to go from step A to Z. So now that you know their big problem, right? Imagine that the solution to their big problem is at step Z, right? But they've got to start at A because everybody is at A. Everybody's at the beginning of their journey. So now what are the steps that they need to take to go from A to B to C to D to E to F and so on before they get that big result? And then step three is then to define the term. So how long do they need to achieve all of the steps in number two? How long do they need? Do they need 12 weeks? Do they need six months? Do they need an entire year? What you want to realize is that even if in your mind, your ideal clients need say 12 weeks, you've got to imagine that it will probably take them twice as long or just a little bit longer, maybe 14 weeks or 16 weeks to be able to achieve that. Because what you can achieve in 12 weeks, you've got to remember that you are the expert in this case. So therefore your ideal clients, they need a little bit more time to be able to achieve this. So this is where defining the term re requires you to be more strategic. Number four is to define your delivery method. This is where you've got to think about your ideal clients and to think, how do they like to learn? How do they learn most? Everybody learns differently. There are people who love written uh, content. There are people who love audio because they want to listen to it in the car or when they're in the kitchen or, you know, or driving. There are people who love to watch videos. Now, what will be your delivery method? Are you going to do it live? Is it all going to be recorded? Is it going to be stored on a platform somewhere? What will your delivery method be? Because that helps you to increase the price even further for your program. And that leads us to step five, which is all about pricing your program. When it comes to pricing your program, there are so many strategies to think about. And I share a lot of it in the masterclass that I'm running all about how to create a signature offer that sells. You find the link below this video. But when it comes to pricing your program, I want you to start to think about what is it that your market charges, number one. And number two, what does the premium look like? And then there are several bolts, several things that you can bolt on that really helps you to add in another thousand dollars per item into your price. So we have a list of about 10 things that you can bolt onto your offer. And for each one of those, you can add on another thousand dollars to the investment for your program. So this is how you can move from creating a 3K program to all of a sudden having a 13K program, a 20K program. And it becomes really easy to sell because it is justifiable because you have added on the right components. Number six is all about segmenting your audience. I really love segmenting my audience. When you create a signature program you might think that it's for everybody right who looks like breathes like walks like and looks like your ideal client but that's not the truth you've got to segment your audience according to what I call the pain threshold now what is the pain threshold the pain threshold is who is the most in pain in my audience because that is the group of people you want to think about and talk to now think about it this way when you have a toothache right you go to the dentist to remove that toothache. Do you know that there are people who refuse to pay for the dentist? They would just take some paracetamol or some other, some bonjella or something to ease that toothache than to go to the dentist to remove a rotting tooth or something that's going to give them more problems in the future. But there are a group of people who are constantly at the dentist. They're having their teeth checked. They're having, uh, you know, they're having things done to their teeth to make sure that the health of their teeth is at the optimum. Those are the people where they have a toothache and the dentist says, I need to remove a tooth. They don't think, they don't ask questions like how much is it or can you do it cheaper? They say, yes, can you book me and when is your earliest appointment? That is the type of client that you want. And that leads me to my final point, which is step number seven. And that is to create your nurture system. How do you sell this signature program. The best way that we sell our programs is through a carefully crafted nurture system, which is also known as a sales system. Now, what does that look like? Well, if you have a look at the link below and this video, where I break down what our sales system looks like, you will be able to see exactly what it is that we do. But if you attend the masterclass that I'm running, the link is in the description. Again, I will be teaching this live so that you can see exactly how we do it and see how it can work in your own business. But in a nutshell, you want to realize that 
people who are ready to buy at the premium level, the reason they are ready to buy at that premium level is because they are being made to wait. So as a coach and as a consultant, one of the things that you want to make sure that you get away from is putting your link, you know, your schedule a call with me link in your Instagram bio or just on Facebook because you become really common commodity. You are just there, just anywhere. And, and people who are buying premium, they don't just, they don't just walk into Ferrari and take a Ferrari out. No, those who are buying premium, they want the car built for them. The specs, you know, what type of leather do they want? What color do they want? Where do they want the car? holder do they want it matte or do they want it shiny and or gloss or whatever it is do you see my point because of that there is a there is a satisfaction that comes from delayed gratification and that is where premium products really reside now how do you translate that to running a business online very simply you make sure that you have a nurture system so that by the time somebody puts up their hand to say yes i want that program they're actually already sold and I promise you, it is such a sweet place to be because your business just scales and you're not having to do all of those crazy salesy, you know, gross sales tactics that a lot of people use online. You're not going to be doing that because people are buying into you before they've actually bought from you. All right. So those are the strategies and how to go about creating your signature program. I'm incredibly excited about this workshop that we are running because I dive deep into this and actually build the program with you, showing you the steps, showing you how to price it and all of the components for how to sell it. So if you want to attend, it's absolutely free. Go ahead to that link in the description and in the comments. I'm incredibly excited. This masterclass is going to be the game changer that you are looking for. And I look forward to seeing you there. So you've seen the steps now. What are we doing now in 2024 for our high ticket programs? The biggest change that we have made this year and that we are teaching all of our clients and you is to make sure that every program that you create has recurring revenue, including your high ticket. Yes. So imagine if you had this high ticket program that's, let's say, 5K or 10K or 20K. And instead of charging the 5K, 10K or 20K, you are doing it on recurring, meaning that they pay you that amount of money every six months or every year, depending on how long your program is or every three months, whatever, you know, however the length of your program is. This is the biggest game changer that we have seen for us and our clients. And in fact, it is because of this that I'm running a masterclass that walks you through all of this. Right below in the description, I've got some gifts for you that I want you to grab before you go away. So make sure you check it out and Join me in my upcoming masterclass where I teach you how to turn your course, coaching program, or whatever it is that you are launching into a recurring revenue stream. I teach you four types of recurring revenue streams that you can add to your business. Join me in the masterclass and I'll see you in my next video.